hi and welcome in this video i'm going to talk about how can we create a new functional component uh, in aem what we have to do uh, we have to open crxd okay and inside apps and then uh, our project we have to come under component and content so basically there are two type of components one is functional component another one is structural component structural components uh, basically decide uh, the layout of the page so we use a structural component while we uh, create a template and then uh, using template we refer structural component to design the layout of the page is functional components are basically for functionality for example within my website i want to show some text some images or maybe uh, multi some description to the image so for that purpose we need functional components so under content these are the functional components now if i want to create a new functional component what i have to do i have to right click on content then click create and then create component uh, i can give the name to the new component so maybe my first component my first component that is fine title and description and then group is am tutorial that is fine and yeah that's it and okay now this is created the component is created let me put some text inside it so i will just say my am tutorial component now there is something called dialogue dialogue is basically where authors uh, give some input for example i want to show some description in my component so i will give uh, one author input so that author can input the description and then same will be available on the website so let me i what i can do i will just copy the dialogue from here and then i will paste it here just explain what is dialogue so if you see the dialogue is uh, the resource type is cqgi component authoring dialogue and what it contains there will be one tab i will just open and will show and then there is one property it's a rich text property so just one tab and one uh, property for inputting description okay and the name is of my component is my first component let me just check i am not using the same type okay let me just for here tutorial let me save it now i will just create a new page where i will put configure this component i will just select content page type template and this is my component creation demo i will click on create and then we'll open it let me just copy the name of the component so that i can search it let me just try to search but we are not getting it because it's not added to the design dialog so what we can do this is the second uh, uh, link right we have to edit the template and within my container i need to change the policy okay and the first tab which is allowed component like what components are allowed on this page i will just look for my new component will select it and then save it now i will go to my page where i want to configure the functional component i will search for it and this time i will get it now if i just double click on this is the property i was talking about so i have one tab and then one property inside it now let me just put some text here this is the
description component and click on save but see nothing is coming because we have not uh, put anything in the html let me just change the html so what i will do i will just add so dollar then curly braces and then properties is out of the box available object and then text because the name of this property is text so that was, that's why properties dot text now let me refresh this page okay and the description is coming i can change the company uh, description again now it's changed yeah it's reflecting so this is how we create functional component in am and uh, this is how we configure uh, on pages how and uh, how do we edit the template to allow the component on any uh, template